This is the first episode of the Australian launch site series. There are some great paragliding areas south of Melbourne, which will be covered in this video. But first, let's have a look back. In episode number one, I visited the paragliding areas in Cairns and north of Brisbane. In the second part, I was in Canungra and the mountains around. In the third episode, the paragliding areas from Portland all the way down to Joanna were covered. And now we are here south of Melbourne, where the so-called Coastal Run is located. As in the first three episodes, the site guide will also give us orientation in this part. Belts Beach is the northeastern point of the coastal run, a 70 km strip along the coast till Apollos Bay, which only a couple of pilots were able to master up to now. There are two takeoffs along the ridge. So, this is the south side takeoff. This launch site is facing southeast south. The local club considers it to be an advanced takeoff. The launching itself is quite easy, but there's not really a lot of places for landing if there is high tide. Regardless of this fact, Bells Beach is one of the most popular paragliding sites south of Melbourne, besides Spyans Cop, which is about 35 kilometers further down the south. Here another view to the very well prepared paragliders takeoff at south side. And in the distance, there's also a hang gliding takeoff facing to the southeast. The second takeoff at Bells Beach is called Cheraside. It's about 500 meters away from the south side and easily accessible by a footpath. Well, here I'm now at the Charo side takeoff. It's a little bit smaller and there are no mats or anything like this. But the direction is the same as the south side, more or less to the south or to the south southeast. The south side takeoff is over there, and in between we have this ridge. Even if the beach down there is looking quite good for landing, the local paragliding club warns. In high tide, it might be too narrow. In this case, safe landing can only be done a little bit further down to the southwest in a town called Engelsee. Here we can see the Cheraside takeoff from the drone. The advantage of it compared to the south side is its much higher altitude, so it can be used in lower wind situations. Here a view directly from the front. And another view to the coastal strip between the two launch sites. Just about 20 kilometers northeast of Teddy's Lookout, there's the town called Fairhaven. There are two takeoffs in Fairhaven. First, the so-called Bayern Cop and second the Mad Max down at the beach. Here we find a well prepared takeoff with rubber flooring and signs that are indicating frequent use of the takeoff site. According to the site guide it's the most popular coastal ridge in Victoria. It's also considered to be very beginner friendly. The altitude of the takeoff is about 50 meters and it's facing south and 
can be used in south-south-east to south-south-west conditions. The landing can be done around the corner in Mox Creek or at the beach depending on the number of visitors. The whole usable ridge is about 6 km long and the takeoff is in the first third towards the east directly above the Great Ocean Road. As already mentioned, the second takeoff, a coastal takeoff called Mad Max, is just at the beach below. So this place is now called Mad Max. The dunes here are perfect, 15 to 20 meters wide, and we have a lot of wind today. I cannot take out the drone, it would be too much for the drone, but not for the hang gliders over there. I think also paragliding would be possible here today. Now this place is located about two and a half kilometers further to the east compared to the Bay Nob where I've just been. And the advice from the local club is that if the wind is strong enough, then you can directly start somewhere on the dunes here. If the wind is not so strong, you might have to go up to Bay Nob. Looking at the dunes down here, I think a wind of about 20 to 25 kilometers would be enough to start directly at the beach. So well, the takeoff is not at Teddy's lookout itself, but somewhere down here now this takeoff above the town of Lawn, about 25 kilometers north of Kennet River, really is not easy to find. It is just a very small tree slot facing to the southeast, 50 meters to the right of Teddy's Outlook and 110 meters above the Great Ocean Road. Here we are at the takeoff. Very small place indeed, but with a wind like this today, where we have 20 to 25 kilometers an hour wind coming up, blowing up the hill, I think it's possible to launch here but if there's there has to be a lot of wind because otherwise the possibility to be down there in the bushes is just too high it is really a very tiny takeoff and no wrong step allowed during the takeoff run mm -hmm. it is not recommended to land directly at the beach below the takeoff but to do the landing on a grassy shelf right of the Great Ocean Road to the east of the takeoff. Just about 20 kilometers north of Apollo Bay, there is Mount Meron next to the town of Kennet River. It is a large coastal hill with an altitude of 150 to 200 meters facing to the south and south-southeast. According to the site guide, it used to be Victoria's number one coastal site until the stretch north of Kenneth River towards Teddy's Outlook was flown. The ridge is about one kilometer long, directly above the Great Ocean Road and the takeoff can only be reached by foot. It is about 140 meters above the beach where in low tide emergency landing is possible, but most of the pilots do the landing around the corner at the beach of Kennet River. The last station of this video is Apollo Bay, which is located about 200 kilometers southwest of Melbourne. Here we find Mariner's Outlook, a public viewpoint on the hill behind the town which can be used for takeoff. As it is crowded very often with tourists, 
It is also possible to take off a little bit further up the hill against the fee to the landowner. Takeoff can be done to the south, to the southeast, or to the southwest. The landing is somewhere at the paddocks below the takeoff, at the beach, or at the top of the hill. Takeoff requires some wind from the front if you want to take off directly at the outlook. To get over the bushes which we see here in front, it would be better if the wind is not strong enough to walk up the hill where there are more opportunities for a safe takeoff. The height difference from the takeoff to the landing is about 230 meters and already in the morning we can see here a fresh breeze blowing up the hill which makes soaring easily possible. Looking towards the northeast, there's a long soaring ridge that can be used for distance flights. The coastal run includes five famous paragliding spots and is a great challenge for all pilots. See you soon for the next video with the paragliding areas around Sydney.